What COVID did was it exacerbated a lot of things. And, you know, our job as educators is to try to fix that stuff. And I think it's been pretty cool, the strategies you have figured out together. And so we just wanted to hear about it from you directly. In 2021, we were coming out of COVID. Everybody was in this uh, kind of funk. So I thought, if I'm feeling this, maybe students are feeling this as well. She explained it to us of how we're going to grow connections with our teachers after reading the books, which is something very new. <laughs> like, I've never heard of anybody do it. We talked a little bit about some nonverbals. So what are some of the things we talked about that we could do? Mrs. Keith and I are both language arts teachers, and the idea kind of came about like, what if we got books that were focusing on social, you know, conversational, um, motivational, some faith-based, that the child can pick based on what they maybe would connect the most with? Uh, I read Tuesdays with Maury, and that was a book about like grief and like how when you lose a family member, like you don't have to like dwell on like the past and like regret regret what you did before. Like focus on moving forward, and it helped me to like help with my family's loss. And I think that was a great way to just start off the school year. That like. saying how horrible the war was. The nice thing about the confetti project is that the kid chooses the book, so you know that the child already wants to talk about those issues, and it's all student-led. So the psychologist writing me about the two different systems in your brain, I learned like so much that I never knew before, like about your intuition and you know how to make my decision-making process you know, more efficient, better, you know, don't make errors in our thinking. This project helped me connect better with someone who I never would have talked to. It helped you learn that you're not alone. Yeah. No matter how old we are, we always have like someone we can go to, even if we're scared. What the, the kids need is to realize that there is a support system for them, uh, and battling for them, fighting for them, uh, and not just their success educationally. If a child is struggling with something that is non-academic and they have no way to connect to anything or anyone or anybody about it, how can you fully learn to your potential? But when you talk with somebody who's older, lived more life than you, is more experienced than you, you learn a lot. The depth of ideas, the maturity, the willingness to share, it was amazing. And that was rejuvenating for me. That just stirred my passion and um, it, it was a special thing. With COVID, like a lot of people got like a bunch of social anxiety and like they didn't want to talk to people all the time. And the project like taught us like ways to cope with that. We're just trying to help our kids grow so that they can be happy, healthy, productive, contributing adults.